MSNBC did not cover the verdict once on Friday or on Saturday, and our next guest says it's because the story does not forget does not fit into their comfy narrative. Bree Payton is a staff writer for The Federalist and joins us now. Bree, huge story. E even the other networks uh, covered it a little bit. CNN was covering it until the Michael Flynn stuff uh, came out, but MSNBC did, did, you know, ignored it altogether. Why? Yeah, well, they ignored it all together because to them it wasn't news. It wasn't news that a man who didn't deny shooting a girl in the head, a man who has been deported five times uh, and snuck back over the border five times and doesn't deny shooting this girl in the head got off, right? To them, that just perfectly fits their narrative and isn't news. To them, they're like, oh, of course this happens. This is perfect, right? But the reality is that every single day we're spending $19 million in taxpayer dollars to house illegal immigrants who are in jail waiting to be deported. Right. And, you know, it's not just San Francisco and its sanctuary cities policy uh, that led to this in 2014. California is my home state. Right. And my old home governor uh, in 2014 signed a bill in order to reduce all misdemeanor sentences uh, for illegal immigrants to 364 days. And the reason why that's important is because federal law stipulates that any illegal immigrant sentenced to serve 365 days gets deported. Right. Hmm. So California has routinely attempted to try and shelter illegal immigrants who have already committed crimes and are serving time from getting deported. Yeah, well, if you never, if you, if you don't cover it, then for some, it never happened, uh, as you said, because it doesn't yeah. fit a narrative.